right guys um if you guys have been following my channel um and you guys are aware that i am a new mom and this is my daughter she is six weeks old um crazy to think about and to actually be posting this um but recently my parents found out that they had gotten covid and they were um in contact with my daughter. Unfortunately, my mom comes over every day, um, but she was unaware at the time. And um, my daughter had woken up and been acting different. She did it. She had slept a little longer than normal. She said she seemed fussy the night before. Um, when she woke up, she didn't want to eat as much as she normally does, which I thought was very odd. Um, and I kind of, she fell asleep in the middle of eating. I woke her up to eat some more, um, but she still didn't finish her full portion. Um, and I felt that it was even more odd because she had slept a little longer than normal. However, um, I kind of brushed it off. Um, in deep down, I kind of knew something was wrong. I could see something um, and her eyes felt was, felt was like something was wrong. Um, and then she took a nap and we took a nap together actually. It was a four hour nap, which was also just as weird because she normally would have woken me up two to three hours after her last feeding. So I actually had to wake her up and feed her. Um, and I started worrying a little bit more. I had noticed that she started spitting up her milk um, often and that wasn't something that I was used to um, I spoke to my husband and he said you know well, it happens when I feed her so um, I don't I don't think it's it's anything different anything to be concerned about um, I also noticed her sleeping a lot more um, so you know I kind of mentioned that to my mom and to my husband and they kind of both agreed said you know what she's little that's fine um, so I guess I kind of brushed off the idea that she might be sick, um, but, you know, I had felt symptoms myself and um, had like a running nose, a sore throat, um, more so my sore throat had been a few days before. Um, I had even noticed a change in her and um, for some reason that afternoon I decided to take a test um, and I came out negative and same thing for some reason um i had woken her up from a nap and she she spit up however i was also thinking it could have been uh, vomiting um, so i actually looked it up and spitting and vomiting is kind of similar it's just vomiting is going to be like more like a projectile um, which is what i had noticed so at that point i knew something was wrong um, i take her temperature however um, she did not have a fever, um, so I kind of just felt like maybe I was crazy. Um, everyone kind of was telling me, you know, she's fine, there's nothing wrong. So I I thought maybe I'm just a crazy new mom, you know, something. Um, I'm just I'm just going crazy. Um, she didn't have a fever, so and I came out negative. I said, okay, you know what, that's that's fine. She's we're good. Um, but however, um, you know, she just slept more that day. Um, she ate normally and went to the restroom normally. So, you know, hey, she's okay. However, the next morning, um, 6 a.m., we woke up and she, for some reason, something told me to take her clothes off. And I took her clothes off and I felt like she was really hot. I thought maybe it was that she, you know, had been wearing long sleeve long pants and been covered up um but nonetheless you know we decided to take her temperature and unfortunately you know she ended up did she did have a fever um at that point it was a, a scary moment you know she's six weeks old um my parents have been around her with covid and you know i am not vaccinated um, so even, even more so, you know, just in general, like babies, they don't have, um, a big, you know, like their immune system is just not ready, prepared for those type of things. 
Um, so it was a very scary moment for me. Um, at that point, I took another COVID test and I still came up negative, even though I still had like the sore throat. Um, they called in and, you know, they told us, come straight to the hospital, like, you know, so we showed up to the hospital. Um, I took her temperature again before we left um, and it it wasn't as high. The first time was 101.7 then um, it was 101.1 .1 right before we left and it was under 100. Uh, so I wasn't sure if I was like going crazy. Um, my thermometer was working or what was happening. Uh, but we didn't want to chance it, so we went. Um, sure enough, when we got there, they took her temperature, and yeah, she did have a fever, in fact. Um, we obviously were scared at the time. Um, I had to go in and explain, you know, everything um, as far as my parents being nearby um, and her acting pretty normal other than just sleeping. Um, they ended up testing her for COVID and she did come out positive. So um, that was a tough pill to swallow. It was something that was so unexpected and something that is a new parent and hearing that you're, hearing that your baby, you know, has this disease that has, you know, ended so many lives um, at such a young age, especially, and having no defenses um, for that was so scary. Um, they had given her some Tylenol and her fever went away. Um, thankfully, thankfully, um, my pregnancy, she was full term and she was a healthy baby. Um, we had no complications and also thankfully she, um, was eating, feeding normal and, um, you know, using, like, going to the bathroom just as normal as usual as well. You know, the only thing had been really, like, um, had been, like, the fever the one time and then her sleeping. Um, they sent us home uh, with some Tylenol and asked us to come back if her fever came back. Thank God um, we checked her fever all night through the night. Um, every time that we changed her, we checked it. Um, she did not get into the fever, thankfully, and has not had a fever since. Um, continued to eat well. Um, continued to use the restroom perfectly, just as normal. Um, you know, she actually ended up having more energy. And so, um, I'm just thankful for that, that she's so healthy. Um, but you know, it was definitely a scare 